doesn't matter where you go or who you meet along the way. Carry kindness in your heart and practice it each day. A simple smile can change the course of someone else's week. The smallest gesture represents the gift of joy we seek. A gentle touch reminds us that humanity still reigns. To pet a lonely cat or dog shows love will never fail. There are a million obstacles on any given day. But rise above the hate and fear and live life the kindest way. Wishing you all season's greetings. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the Sabbath day. Thank you for the Sabbath school. Thank you to help us to understand the story for today. Help us to be good boys and girls. And thank you for all your blessings. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Psalms 105 verse 2 says, Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. With this thought, we would like to welcome each one of you for our online Sabbath school program. During Advent, we prepare our hearts for Him. A is for His arrival. We are longing for His arrival. D is for the day that He was born. V is for the voices raised to Him in praise. And E is for our eternal God and King. N is for the night that turned our world to day. T is for the Holy Trinity. And so during Advent, we prepare our hearts for Him. For our first song, let's sing Silent Night.
the world.
angels we have heard on high. the ocean and he thought maybe then he'll find happiness 
So with his new sailboat, he sailed across the sea, but couldn't find happiness. Then he thought to himself, maybe I need to build a home and I need to stay there. So he builds himself a home. And he stays there, but still didn't find happiness. So then he got another idea and said to himself, hmm, maybe I need to explore the world, then I'll find true happiness. So he bought himself something that could fly him around the world. Can you guess what it was, Bibi? Uh, uh, bird? No. Flies. But the man was too heavy for a bird. Oh. He bought a plane. A, exactly. A jet which could fly all over the world. So he flew around the world but still didn't find happiness. Oh, that's sad. One day he passed by a church and he saw all the people in the church were so happy. They were laughing and smiling. So he went to the pastor and asked the pastor, Excuse me, pastor. You see, I am a very rich man and I have everything I have ever wanted. But I couldn't find happiness. So then the pastor tells him, Son, you need to get rid of all those extra things in your lives, all those unnecessary things. And you need to believe in someone really special. Oh. And that is Jesus. But the man ignores the pastor and he gets one more idea. He told himself, I'm going to go and buy myself a rocket. So then I could fly into space and then I'm sure I'll be happy. So what do you think the man did? He bought himself a rocket. Exactly, Phoebe. He took his brand new rocket and went into space. But can you guess what happened? Mm, he was not happy, I guess. Exactly. He didn't find happiness. Hmm. Then he got a thought. Hmm. Maybe what the pastor said was right. Maybe I need to give my life to Jesus. So that day he gave his life to Jesus and something amazing happened. <gasps> what was that? He found true happiness <gasps> in life. Wow. The same thing happens to us when we give our hearts to Jesus. We find True happiness. Exactly. And when we believe in Jesus, we get to have eternal, we get to spend eternal life with Jesus. Wow, that's amazing. What can you see, Phoebe? I see some alphabets. Can you spell it out for me? Yes, yes. I know my alphabets. L I F E L I F E Life. Oh, life! Exactly. When we give our hearts to Jesus, we find true happiness in life. So this season, let's give our hearts to Jesus and wait for his second coming. I'm going to do that. Friends, what about you? Hi, Riona. Hi, Jacob. Hello, Phoebe. Hi. How are you doing, Jacob? And it's so good to see you, Riona. You know, Riona and Phoebe, yesterday I went with my uncle to the city and we went to the big store. And do you know, do you know what I saw there? Mm. 
First of all, I saw colorful lights everywhere. Wow. And then, as I walked around, I saw so many candies and giant bars of chocolate. Chocolate bars? Yes. And then, I saw so many delicious cakes. I'm just waiting to taste all of those. Jacob, was there cheesecake? That's my favorite cake. Well, I love strawberry cake and cherry cake. Did you find all of these cakes in the store? Well, there were so many bakeries there. I am sure they have all these cakes. My mouth is already watering. Riona, what time of the year it is it, do you think? Hmm, let me think. Special lights. Chocolate bars, special cakes. Is it Christmas? Yes, you're right. Oh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. That's a nice song, Phoebe. Thank you. Riona, what are you expecting for Christmas? I'm definitely going for a doll. Wow, what about you, Phoebe? Oh, I love to give gifts and surprise my friends. I do that every year. Every year? Yes. Christmas is not about goodies. It's not about gifts we receive. It's about Giving, because God gave his only son for us. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you, Phoebe, for helping us to realize the true meaning of Christmas. We shall learn more about it in today's lesson. Let's go! Good morning and welcome to the study of God's Word. It is a blessing to read His scriptures. I would like to read from the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. It says, But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth His Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Let us take a, our journey back in time to the beginning of our world's history, where God created human beings, Adam and Eve were created in God's image with the freedom to choose between good and evil. But sadly, our first parents, they chose to listen to the tempter who led them to mistrust God's warning and to disobey his instructions. The results of their sin were devastating for the entire human race. Sin caused separation from God's presence and led to the destruction and death. But we serve an awesome God. God devised a plan to save you and me. Yes, to restore humankind to the family of God. The Creator promised that a Redeemer would come to save the entire mankind. This 
promise, along with the other prophecies about the coming of the Messiah, kept alive the faith of God's chosen people from generation to generation. According to the angel's announcement, God's promise was fulfilled and Mary was chosen to be the mother of the promised Redeemer. What an awesome privilege! Mary was very young when she made this trip to Bethlehem with her new husband Joseph. Mary accepted her position as Jesus' mother as the gift. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. When they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger. It was there in the stable that this most significant event took place in the fulfillment of prophecy. Isn't it sad that God's chosen people who have awaited his coming for millennia did not recognize the time of his coming and they were not prepared to welcome their Redeemer. We are now living in the time right before the second coming of Jesus. The signs of his soon return are being fulfilled before our eyes because the prophecies about Jesus first coming were fulfilled with exact precision as recorded in the Gospels. We have the assurance of his second coming according to his promise. Would you make room in your heart for Jesus? Let's prepare to welcome our soon coming Redeemer and King who longs to take us home and spend eternity with us. Have you ever wished to see an amazing miracle happen right before your eyes? Think of the shepherds in Bethlehem when Jesus was born. Aren't you glad? Jesus revealed himself to ordinary people like them. The shepherds were filled with fear at this glorious sight. Angels spoke to them words of comfort. A great multitude of angels appeared over the fields of Bethlehem. They could no longer contain the joy. The Messiah had come to earth to deliver humanity from the curse of sin. Heavenly voices filled the air as the angels praised God, saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Inspired by the heavenly message and filled with great joy, they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. Their lives were changed forever because they had seen the Messiah. All who find Christ born anew in their hearts today will, like the shepherds of Bethlehem, make the good news known to others. What about you? Have you ever gone to an unknown place with only a few clues about how to get there? Well, the Magi were in that kind of situation while searching for Jesus. 
about the only thing they knew was that he was a king. Even though the journey was going to be long, their ultimate goal was to find and worship the king. They were not a part of the Jewish nation, yet they were the seekers after the truth. These men of noble character recognized God as the creator. They also studied the Hebrew scriptures. Around the time the angels announced to the humble shepherds in Bethlehem the news about the birth of Jesus, the men from the east also discovered what seemed to be an unusual star. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. Numbers 24, 17. The wise men welcomed the light of God's revelation with open hearts. They were receptive to follow the star and follow the Messiah and find him. To the wise men's surprise, their question was treated with indifference. The people seemed ignorant of the glorious event that had taken place in their situation. The news of the wise men's visit reached the palace of King Herod. On hearing the words of the prophecy, the king was deeply distressed. He secretly sent the wise men to Bethlehem to look for the newborn king and bring back word about his birthplace. They found Jesus in a humble dwelling. In keeping with their eastern custom, the wise men presented Jesus with precious gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and bowing down they worshipped the king. But while in Bethlehem, the wise men were instructed by an angel not to return to King Herod. And so they went home by another way. Activity time! Riona, what is today's lesson about? It's about baby. Jesus. Who came to visit baby Jesus? The shepherds and the three wise men. And who gave the shepherds the news? The angels. What did they say? Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will towards men. Yes, so for today's activity we are going to make an angel. Things that you'll need for this activity are straws, marker, scissor, pipe cleaner, a punch, glue, some decorative papers and hot glue. I've made a cutout of this white sheet. This is what it looks like. Now let's begin folding it. Now we're going to punch a hole into this. I've passed the straw through the holes that we've punched. This is what it looks like. I've made a cutout of the wings. This is what it looks like. I've made a halo using a pipe cleaner. And this is the cutout of a face that I made. We're going to stick this to the paper behind. I 
that stuff double side tape behind this so we can attach the wings I'm going to stick this halo behind the face using hot glue gum. Now we're going to attach this over here using a hot glue gun. Wow, my angel looks so beautiful. Yes, we can always praise and worship God just as the angels did. It's the season of Christmas. Are you excited, Ramona? Yes, Akka, I'm so excited. I can't wait to open my presents. But have you ever wondered what gifts you could give the Lord? Hmm. I know, I can use my talents as a gift for God. The Magi had been among the first to welcome their Redeemer. Their gift was the first that was placed at the feet of God. For our craft today, we're going to make a card that reminds us of the wise men who brought their gifts to Jesus. Things that you'll require to make this card are some glue, scale, scissor, some shining stars, a marker and a long sheet of paper. If you don't have a long sheet of paper, you can stick two papers together to get a long sheet. Cut your paper in this shape. On this side of the paper, stick some stars. And on this side of the paper, draw three wise men who went to visit Jesus. Fold your card as a greeting card. Over here, I've written the prophecy which says, a star shall come out of Jacob. You can make one of these cards and give it to someone to share the birth of Christ. Let's give our hearts to Jesus this Christmas and bring him our gifts. upon him Shall we close our life for prayer? Dear Lord, thank you for this holy Sabbath. Help us to lift our voices to praise and worship you. 
Just like the angel said when your son Jesus was born, help us to have Jesus in our heart so that we can be ready when he comes second time to take us to heaven. And Jesus, name me pray. Amen.